Vermont Yankee has had opposition ever since it opened its doors in 1972. Shut it down. But it wasn't until late into its original 40-year license that protests took the center stage. In 2010, Andrew G. operated Vermont Yankee safely and met all safety cornerstone objectives. And with the announcement that a clean bill of health from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would yield the plant a 20-year extension, BY's adversaries have in turn pledged to extend their demonstrations another 20 years as well. Your conduct is in violation of Title 15, Vermont Statute 3705, all lawful trespass. Now, as nerve-wracked legislators ponder the implications of dry cask storage, you think the plant shuts down, but then you've still got the waste to deal with, and it's not good stuff. Task forces brace for the economic blowback from the plant's eventual closure, and politicians examine the sincerity of the plant's out-of-state owners. Virginia Louisiana is good at convincing Vermonters of things that aren't true. Advocacy groups have turned their efforts to making public a lesser-known environmental component of the reactor's system. The discharge of hot water, estimated by the state to peak at over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, released into the Connecticut River by the plant's extensive cooling system. That'll bring us to Saturday's event, perhaps one of the most photogenic yet, as objectors took to the river water in question by canoe, kayak, and pontoon to shake their oars at the plant's owners in the shadow of their waterfront property. With the state police marine patrol on hand, protesters kept just east of the buoy barriers out of Treble's way before gathering across the river where supporters on land had clustered around speakers, singers, and chanters to supplement the day's striking visual success. The underlying science in that permit doesn't give you the same answer as you get when you stick a thermometer in the river and track the actual temperature. As the afternoon came to an end, organizers concluded that the message had been sent, with the anonymity of the plant's hot water discharge properly dispensed, proving that sometimes to get what you want, you just have to roll up your sleeves and get your hands wet.